What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's build video, I'm going to give you another Foundry, Bulwark, Armor, Region, God build. I mean, this thing makes you feel unstoppable. Now it can get a little bit better. However, we are over 93,000 Armor Region per second without the memento backpack that is just base level 93,000 armor region per second and that's excluding the foundry bulwark makeshift repair on top of that this thing's unstoppable i'm going to show you me using this in pvp pve i'll show you some conflict gameplay i mean we'll even jump into the dark zone with this so sit back relax grab that popcorn you know the deal hit that like subscribe and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now, typically, we would probably do some sort of gameplay, right? So let's go ahead and jump over to the conflict gameplay. Roll that footage. Oh, nice. That was easy. Too easy. Too easy. Look at the armor region, baby. Oh, even with the foam. Oh, my God. There's two on me. There's two on me. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Good job. Good job. I'll help you with this one. All right. He's down. Last guy. Oh, oh, here he is. Oh, sticky bomb, sticky bomb. Yo, I just face tanked that sticky bomb. Got him, got him, got him. Nice. GG's. Oh man, that was intense. That was intense. Look at the armor. Look at the armor. Look at that. Spawns flipped. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Hell yeah. Oh, two on me. Oh, three on me. Hold on. Let's try to do something about this. Oh, there he is. I see you. Alright, let's see. Yeah. Let's see if I can get him here. Uh, let's see, let's see. Alright, and... Uh, uh, got him, got him. I got him. I got him. <laughs> oh my god. 2.1 million armor. Mm -mm -mm. It's quiet. Too quiet. Where are they at? Been pulsed. Uh oh. Oh, I see him. I see him. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh. Oh. Got him. Got him. Oh, I'm getting shot in the back. Oh, my God. I was getting shot in the back the whole time. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh my god, shot in the back. Oh, two people were shooting me in the back. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. That's so funny, though. Run! Here we go. Oh, oh. Ooh, he's hitting hard. Okay. Bet he's using a glass cannon then. Alright, here we go. Ready? And go! Ring around the rosy. Oop! Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh my god. Textbook. Textbook. Oh man. You taking notes? Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, th this is game, man. Now, now they're just sitting back here. I mean, let's be real. It's over. Oh, oh, oh man. He, he actually pushed out. Hold on. There we go. We got him. Another one on me. Hold your horses. Let me get my armor back. There we go. And got him. Game. Game. Let's go, dude. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Well done. Ooh. This is stupid. Unstoppable tank build. Eh, I don't see him. Did you see him? Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Ooh, the boost. All right, let me go behind them. They're probably all going to be looking at that boost. Yep, they just killed him. All right, here we go. We got this. Oh, I, I found myself. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's another guy shooting me. Oh, there's another guy shooting me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, die. Die. <laughs> yes. 
Yo, this is dumb. Look at the armor region. Let's go, dude. It, it's just slowly just creeping. Just, ugh. Die, die, die. Oh my gosh. I'm over here shooting marshmallows. Come on, die already. W what's up with these combat rolls, bro? For real. For real. You're still dead. Oop, hold on. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Oh, 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 Kim Launcher. There we go. Oh, he's getting the res. He's getting the res. He's getting the res. Oh, my gosh. I'm all alone. Oh, there's three over here, man. Oh, nice burn, whoever did that. There we go. Got him. Got him. All right, GG's. Good cleanup. Good teamwork. We got this. Let's roll out, boys. All right, so you have seen this tanky behemoth in PvP action. Now let's get into the build breakdown, and then we'll go into the dark zone. How about that? All right, so here it is in all of its glory. This is my latest uh, Foundry Bulwark Armor Region God build. Uh, I typically say that just because of the amount of armor region and repairs this build has. You can be shot by multiple sources at once and still survive. Um, in those PvP matches, I would purposely run up on three at a time, three players, and we would do a 1v3. And even in that gameplay, you saw I would take out two out of the three people or they would all end up dead. Um, and it's because of the makeshift repair, but also the amount of armor region this build has is just banana pancakes crazy. Now, uh, enough of the formalities. Let's jump into the build, shall we? Now, starting off with the specialization, I am using the technician specialization. Now, the reason I am using the technician specialization is so that I can get that linked laser pointer attachment for my Kingbreaker. Now what this does is it pulses the target that I aim at, and when that target is pulsed, I will get perfect flatline. So here's the talent, perfect flatline. It amplifies your weapon damage by 20% to all pulsed enemies. And the way that this works is all I have to do is aim the weapon, and boom, you get that extra damage. Now this one is sitting at 94.6k total damage and just so you know that's with 2.1 million armor. Ooh, that's a lot of armor. So again, the Kingbreaker is sitting at 94.6k total damage. This thing is at expertise level 21, so just be mindful of that. And the attributes are all maxed out, AR, health, and damage targets at a cover. Now, for my secondary and sidearm, you can use whatever it is you want. For me, I was just, you know, running around with the Slayer on my back. It's just my typical secondary, you know, placeholder. And then for the sidearm, I was actually testing out the Busy Little Bee just to see what that extra damage could do on a tank build like this. And I was pleasantly surprised, especially in the Dark Zone. If you're just running around with this build in like a normal hard, I mean, even, you know, challenging landmark, and you're just shooting each of the enemies with this busy little bee, as soon as you run up on a player or anything like that, you switch to that Kingbreaker and you're melting whatever it is is on the other side. I mean, you could do that with like a, say, like a heroic landmark. Shoot each of the NPCs building up to that named boss that comes at the end and then by the time that name boss comes out then switch to the king breaker and you could you know mow down that boss um in an instance and this is all while having 2.1 million armor i mean th this is disgusting the amount of survivability on this is ridiculous now talking of which i have all blue attributes on this build everything is blue the only things that are red are the mods. I'm using all crit chance just to get this King Breaker's crit chance up as much as I can. Now, just to show you a little sneak peek, we did get to 33% crit chance for the King Breaker, which, you know, for a lot of people, they're like, oh, what, you know, that's nothing. But again, we're doing this on an all blue build, and I just wanted it, you know, at least as much crit as I could. Now, the other stat I wanted to go to really quick, right here, boom. 93,128 armor region per second. 
So whenever you were seeing me in those battles and things like that, I would say, hey, check out the armor. You would see how fast the repair is with this armor region and the foundry Borg. It's so ridiculous. It puts a smile to my face. I love armor region builds. I think it's amazing. I've loved it ever since Nomad way back in Division 1 days. And I feel, you know, some Nomad-esque feelings whenever I run a build like this because you're pretty much unkillable. And then when you're running a really good weapon like the Kingbreaker, I mean, it's just, you know, that cherry on top. Now, with that, let's do a deep dive into this gear, shall we? Starting with the mask. This is the Bellstone Armory mask, the Bellstone Armory brand set bonus we get from this build, 1% armor region. Now this thing, max armor for the core, max armor region, and hazard protection for the normal attributes, and then a max crit chance mod. We are running four pieces of Foundry Bork. Now the chest piece gives us 30% repairs instead of 20, and the backpack gives us those repairs in 10 seconds instead of 15. So whenever I read this, I'm going to read it in that order. It's going to be 30% repairs in 10 seconds. So here we go. So Foundry Bulwark, we're starting with the backpack. Now the Foundry Bulwark brand set bonus, or gear set bonuses we get from this build. 10% total armor for the two-piece. For the three-piece, we have 1% armor region, and then that shield health, which we're not using a shield. And then for the four-piece, makeshift repairs. Whenever you take damage, 30%. Of that amount is repaired to you over 10 seconds, which is crazy. So if they shoot you for 100 over the next 10 seconds, you're going to be repaired 30 of that 100. Not bad. Um, okay, so for the attributes for the Foundry Borg backpack, we have Max Armor for the core, Max Armor Region with a Max Crit Chance mod. Going to the chest piece, Foundry Borg. Max Armor, Max Armor Regen, Max Crit Chance. Foundry Gloves, Max Armor, Max Armor Regen. And then finally, the Holster, Foundry Bulwark, Max Armor, you guessed it, Max Armor Regen. Now, just so uh, everyone can notice, I did spec into the expertise on all of these gear items. Now, what that does is it increases that individual's item armor so for the backpack for instance you can see in the top right of your screen it says 131k armor so this thing is at expertise level 13 so 13 percent of that 131 is added to the build so it's 13 percent of that base armor now that is what's getting my armor up to that 2.1 million and that is what is getting my armor region up to that 93.1k per second. Now you'll be able to get this up higher, not much, but a little bit higher once you get each of these pieces to level 21. But we all know what kind of a crazy grind the expertise is, so it's going to take me a while, but I will one day have a fully maxed out armor region build but until then 93.1k is not bad for not having the memento <laughs> you know what i mean all right so for the last gear item this is the best and rarest named item in the game the emperor's guard knee pads with double armor region now this thing is sick now it is a pvp exclusive named item however you can get it from a named item cache so the ways to get these knee pads, Dark Zone, Conflict, or Named Item Cash. Now, the Emperor's Guard are the named Murakami. We're not really too worried about the skill duration, but it does help our skills. For the attributes, we have Max Armor for the core. It comes with 1% Armor Region as an attribute. And then we also have Normal Armor Region maxed out for the other attribute. All right, now with all of that said and done, that gives us the 2.1 million armor and that 93k armor region. For the skills, this is for the dark zone. We have the decoy and then we have the jammer pulse. Now that's for the dark zone. For conflict, I'll typically switch over to a explosive seeker just to mark them, make enemies bleed, things like that. 
And uh, for PV, P, or PVE, if you will, you could switch to like a jammer or jammer and like a defender drone or maybe like a jammer and a shield if you want. It, it's up to you. I'm not much of a shield person myself, but I know a lot of people love that and Foundry Bark is perfect for a shield. But all right, let's uh, finish up with these stats and then we'll go into the dark zone. So here is the Kingbreaker, 94.6k weapon damage, 37.8k in PvP. 33 crit chance, 45 crit damage, 75 headshot with that health damage and damage targets at a cover. Offensive tab, we're sitting at 31% all weapons damage bonus and 30% assault rifle damage bonus. So every time we're using the Kingbreaker, we are starting off at 61% damage bonus total. For the gear talents, we are using four pieces of Foundry Borark with the chest PC in the backpack. For the defensive tab, we are over 2.1 million armor, over 93k armor regen, 339k health, with 10% explosive resistance and 20% hazard, but 10% of each of those is due to my watch level, which brings me to my disclaimer. So this is the disclaimer for all my build videos. I am currently watch level 4,021. That means all these boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. Now, if you are at or above shade level 1,000, you'll get the exact same numbers and results. However, if you are below shade level 1,000, some of these boxes will not be maxed out, so some of your numbers won't add up when you copy and paste this build. It's okay. Don't freak out. The build will get better as your levels go up but it's still gonna be a really strong build to use. I highly recommend it. But with all that said and done, hit that like, subscribe, you know the deal. That is my Foundry Boark Armor Regen build right now with 93K Armor Regen per second without the Memento backpack. Now, let's, uh, let's do some Dark Zone. All right, and we are in the Dark Zone. We're gonna be in Dark Zone East for this gameplay. We'll do some PvE. If we find some people, we'll do some PvP. We'll stay rogue, have some fun that way. We do have DZ drops, so I'll do that. Now, remember, this is a armor regen build. You are a tank. Now, I highly recommend using the decoy and a jammer for the dark zone. That way you can uh, you know, get past enemies, get past control points, things like that in an instance. Just like so, put down the decoy, get out of there, good to go. Now for this supply drop, I think it's on the other side of this building. Now if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up, support the channel. By subscribing, we're making our way to 63,000 subs. Crazy. Alright, here we go. A little dark zone drop action. They're right next to each other, so that's good. Alright, here we go. Now, the Dark Zone drops are going to have named enemies, so this is a good test. Boom. And decoy. Almost got that boss in one magazine. There we go. Got him. Next. And then you can, you know, see my armor. It's just steadily going up. They're, they're not able to do anything about this at all. There we go. And then I'll get the supply drop. Oh, come on. Oh, you're gone, bro. There we go. Oh, come on. You're going to make... Oh, my gosh. Okay. I like to get the rank one so I can at least get DC experience. There we go. Now I can get the rank one. There we go. Now I have four minutes to get the other ones. 
But you can see, I mean, I'm soloing this with ease. I didn't go down, didn't really even lose half of my armor. Pretty nice. Now the next one is right here, so this is perfect. And let me know what kind of gameplay you'd like to see, whether it be, I don't know, whether it be classified assignments, Lincoln Memorial, the Dark Zone, Conflict. What's your favorite type of uh, gameplay you like to see from a build? Let me know. And I'll get this one. All right, there we go. Perfect, perfect. And then I could hit this chest up here, try to get a exotic component. And then we can go for the next one. Let's see. Next one's way up north. All right. So we can do that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, let me... Uh, some of this gear out of here. Yo, that's a really strong wyvern. Armor region, bloodsucker. I mean, some of these aren't bad, actually. Okay. Got it. Alright. Ah, oh, no exotic component. Dang, no dice. Okay, let's go hit that uh, landmark. I mean, uh, supply drop, my bad. I'll show you what it's like hitting all three. Come on. Run! Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the rogue man. Go, 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 go. Oh yeah, we're gonna make it. We have plenty of time, plenty of time. And then I like to steal the uh, supply drops. Um, I tend to find exotics when I do that. I mean, some people say it's just, you know, in your head, but when I have a choice of securing loot or stealing it, I typically go towards the stealing it part in the dark zone just because you typically get better gear that way. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Now I think there's a dial around here to give me another rank one, just so I can continue to up that dark zone experience while doing everything. Let's see. Mm. I don't see a shade beacon yet. Never say never. Rogue status removed. Rogue artillery turret detected. Artillery turret. Well, that's where the hazard protection comes into play. Uh, they're hitting some other NPCs right now. Oh, snap. Oh, the drop, Dark Sun drop just ended. Dang, that sucks. Yo, who just phoned me? Yo, and there's... What is this right now? Oh, there we go. Boom. Alright then. Oh, another boss. Nice. Nice. Is that another boss? Nah, just a normal elite. There we go. Alright. Oh. Fixer drone. Why, why a fixer drone?
Oh, right here. And I have enemies shooting me in the back. Alright. Not too shabby. I mean, that's the thing with popping rogue. You're gonna find people, because whenever you pop rogue, everyone sees it. There we go. Oh, some other people are going rogue on each other now as well. Nice. Alright, let me, uh... Let me hit some a couple more chests and then we'll get out of here. Nothing too crazy. I don't want to make another 45 minute long video. I mean, this is probably going to end up being 35, but don't judge me. I'm trying to give you as much content as possible for the builds. And boom. Exotic? Dang it, man. Where's the exotic? Oop. Oh, snap. Uh, another player. Ah! Oh, you're not even shooting at me. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. My bad. My bad. I thought you were shooting me like the uh, the other guy that ran up on me with a shield. My bad, brother. He's like, I'm just trying to farm, bro. My bad, my bad. Can I pick him up? No, I can't pick him up because I'm rogue. Dang, man, my bad. Sorry. Hopefully his friend or someone can come pick him up. I can't pick him up yet, not for another 30 seconds. But by then he's probably going to bleed out, so... It'd be eight. Yeah, there he goes. Sorry, man. It took me a second to notice you were uh, shooting that NPC. By that time, it, the damage was done. But I will move on. I'm sorry. I'll let you farm. Farming agents have feelings as well. Alright, for this one, I remember... Oh yeah, it's all the way in the parking garage. That's right. And then you extract, and then this... this uh. Little farming loots over. See if we can run into anyone else. Probably doubt it. We'll see. There were people going rogue earlier, but now I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. Yo, hold on. What's the red on my mini map? Must be the uh, landmark. Okay. Yeah, we'll just hit. Uh, we'll hit this stuff and then we'll get out of here. I've already shown you enough PvP action. There's no need to drag that on even more in the dark zone. We already did that in conflict. All right, come on. Give me an exotic. Come on. I'm recording. Give me an exotic. Come on. Come on. No, no exotic. Dang, dude. Getting stingy with the exotics. Ooh, spotter. Oh, mm. uh, okay. All right, let's get out of here. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I'm going to go extract and call it a night. So hit that like, subscribe. You know the deal. I mean, uh, I'm on the end of this video. If, if you've made it this far, I salute you. I salute you. Yo, the decoy is so much fun. I love it. Love it so much. Alright, extract. There we go. Alright, I'm going to extract these resources and get out of here. I hope everyone had a good time. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Peace.